In this video, we'll discuss the actions of thyroid hormones on CNS, CVS, GIT, skin, bone, liver, and on metabolism. So what's the action of thyroid hormones on nervous system? How cretinism causes mental retardation? Thyroxine is essential for normal synapse development and myelination. In hypothyroid infants, synapse develop abnormally and myelination is defective and mental development is seriously retarded. Mental change are irreversible if replacement therapy is not begun soon after birth. Second action of thyroxine on normal neurons is that thyroxine increases responsiveness to catecholamine that activates the reticular activating system and it also increases the number of beta adrenergic receptors. Increased responsiveness of catecholamines increases hyperactivity, nervousness, hyperreflexia, and irritability. Increased beta adrenergic receptors along with catecholamines increased responsiveness causes fine tremors. However, catecholamines have no caloregenic action in the absence of thyroid gland. Why tremors and sweating occurs in hyperthyroidism? Thyroid hormone increases beta adrenergic receptors. What's the treatment for these tremors and increased sweating in hyperthyroidism? Tremors and sweating can be reduced or abolished by drugs or surgery. Drugs that abolish them are beta blockers like propranolol and atenolol. Reserpine also so inhibit that and in this surgery it's a sympathectomy that abolishes tremors and sweating the reaction time of a stretch reflex is decreased in hyperthyroidism and increased in hypothyroidism so what happens in hypothyroidism that there is impaired memory and loss of concentration there is hypotonia and hyporeflexia and carpal tunnel syndrome what's carpal tunnel syndrome it's the compression of the median nerve in the flexor retinacrum due to edema the reaction time of a stretch reflex is increased in hypothyroidism a pendulous knee jerk there are slow movements and speech is slurred how thyroxine increases the oxygen to the tissues thyroxine increases the dissociation of oxygen from hemoglobin by increasing the rbc 23 dpg 23 diphosphoglycerate that detaches oxygen from the rbc thyroxine increases oxygen consumption of almost all tissues except adult brain testis uterus lymph nodes and spleen action of thyroid hormone on cardiovascular system it causes cutaneous vasodilatation increases pulse pressure and cardiac rate and it decreases the peripheral resistance it increases the beta adrenergic receptors Stimulation of beta adrenergic reception causes cutaneous vasodilatation and decreases the peripheral resistance. It increases tremors and swelling. Cutaneous vasodilatation in hyperthyroidism is equal to opening an AV fistula. And in hypothyroidism, there is bradycardia and decreases the stroke volume, increased peripheral resistance, increase in blood pressure and cold extremities. Cold extremities are due to vasoconstriction and increased peripheral resistance. There is pericardial effusion in hypothyroidism in 30% of patients. Effects on carbohydrate and on liver. Thyroid hormone increases carbohydrate absorption from GIT. And in hyperthyroidism, increased action or increased responsiveness of epinephrine increases glycogenolysis and leads to hyperglycemia. Increased action of epinephrine in hyperthyroidism keeps the liver glycogen depleted and makes the liver vulnerable to injury. What happens to thyroid hormone in liver failure? In liver failure, there is decreased metabolism of thyroxines that leads to increased toxicity of the hormone. What's the effect of thyroxine on cholesterol metabolism? Thyroxine lowers the circulating cholesterol level. How does it do that? It is due to the increased formation of low density lipoprotein receptors. So in hyperthyroidism the cholesterol level is lower and in hypothyroidism there is hypercholesterolemia. Action on the skin. There is yellowish tint of the skin in hypothyroidism. Why? Thyroid hormones are required for hepatic conversion of beta carotene to vitamin A. In hypothyroidism beta carotene is not converted to vitamin A that gives a skin a yellowish tint. Extremity are cold in hypothyroidism and in hyperthyroidism there is heat intolerance due to vasodilatation and in hypothyroidism there is cold intolerance.